Another important color skill in Illustrator is working with gradients. So I'm going to apply a gradient to this object right here. So I want it to be a gradient fill. So I want the fill to be on top. And I'm going to press the gradient fill uh, button right here underneath. Now by default it's going to give you a black to white gradient. And there's a couple of things that we can do to change this. Uh, first thing that I'll do is I'll click on, I call these houses. There are little sliders on my gradient panel. My gradient panel has popped out here and I can move them around and I can move around this diamond in between on the slider to adjust how I want my gradient to look. Um, I can also change my uh, gradient from linear to radial in this location and we'll move that around here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and customize the colors. Couple of ways to do that. First, if I click on that little house that I was talking about, um, I can go over here to my fill color, double click, and choose a new color to go in there and press OK. And you can see that white has been replaced with that bluish purple color that I found. Another way to do that is to also just take something from my swatches panel and drag it to my gradient panel. Now, in this case, I think we might have too many colors. So I'm going to take that black gradient and I'm just going to uh, click and drag and it removes it right from the gradient slider. So now that I have a gradient that I, I might possibly like, I'm going to go to my gradient tool over here on the left. Remember, that's why we talked about the difference between panels and tools. I'm going to go to my gradient tool, and I'm going to click and drag, and it kind of changes the location of that uh, gradient, where it uh, originates from. So the longer I, I draw it, the more smooth or longer the gradient will be. If I draw it short, it's going to be a very quick, abrupt change uh, to the um, to the other to the pink color that I have works the same way with linear gradients I can change it to a different angle I can make it a short gradient a long gradient um, and this is a way to visually do it you can also do it using this angle um, adjustment here right there in the gradient panel